Oh, that's not a fan. Oh, we cannot show that. That was really bad. Hey gang, Ryan here. And Emily. From, you guessed it, The Way We Hunt. We are on the road. Just got off work a couple minutes ago and we are headed 11-ish hours, almost 12 hours north right now to Wright, Wyoming and maybe Moorcraft, Wyoming. Moorcraft. Moorcraft, Wyoming, depending on what happens in the morning. So, many of you know, Emily and I both drew doe antelope tags this year. We didn't use any of our points. We just put in for the draw. We got drawn. So, we've never hunted an antelope and so we are northbound to Wyoming. I feel like temperature when we get there it's going to be about 23 degrees. I'm not acclimated for this weather yet. So, literally a 60 degree swing in 12 hours. We'll see. We got warm weather clothing. We'll be all right. Yeah, we'll be okay. Yeah. Ryan might be okay. Emily will be fine. Anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Here we go. Well, we are right outside of R Wright, Wyoming. It is freezing. I'm in shorts and flip-flops, and the roads are horrible. We've been doing 40 miles an hour for the last hour and a half-ish. Um, still snowing pretty good, but this is probably the last chance we're gonna have to change, because we're going straight into hunting as soon as we get there. Plus, if we slide off the road, which we've passed a lot of cars slid off the road, we'll be somewhat dressed. So, Emily found a rest stop. We're gonna pull off here, change into some somewhat warm clothing, and we've got another half hour to go, I think. So hopefully next time you see us, the sun will be partially up and we will be pulling the camp. Well, website said this place was open. Thanks Bar and Grill for some breakfast. I'm so hungry. I don't think it's open though. It doesn't look open. I don't think there's anything in this town. <laughs> Is Dino Mart open over there? Maybe they got some brown food in a I don't want fried food. I wanted eggs and bacon and coffee. It's right Wyoming. But I want what I want. Breakfast place is open. I'm happy now. We made it! We are a touch early. We're supposed to meet the landowner about eight, but we got here later than we thought because the storms and stopping to get fuel, et cetera, et cetera, took a little bit longer than anticipated. So, which is fine. We got to stop and eat breakfast. And now we wait. 
these plateaus are going to be fun. But finding moving animals in the snow should be fairly simple since they're not white. Famous last words. <laughs> are we going for a first day tag out? Yeah, the sooner the better, I think. It gives us time to process process everything and we did. okay. It gives us time to use our vacuum sealer. I know what we did not bring though is a cutting board, but I'm sure the gas station that we stopped at that literally has everything probably will have that. But if not, I think there's a Dollar Tree or Dollar General in town. We'll figure it out. It's not that big of a deal. We have an hour to drive to our Airbnb. After this anyway, I'm sure we'll run across something. It'll be fine. So we met with the landowner that we have permission to hunt on and they had a big storm last week that came in and he said he hasn't seen any antelope since then. So we are not as hopeful as we were this morning and on the way up here, but we found a point that he uh, pointed out to us and we're gonna walk out there and sit in glass for a little bit. It looks like it's gonna be pretty decent. If not, we have some other places that we can go, but this is gonna be our first sit and our first glass. And we got all our gear together and. Guess we'll see what happens. Well, this is our first time doing this, so I don't know if this is right or wrong, but we have several places that we can hunt, and today, where we're sitting, there's not a whole lot of, we're not seeing any tracks. Like Ryan thinks he might have found tracks, but we can't tell what they are from here. So I suggested we sit here for an hour before we move on and try that route. I don't know. I guess we could sit here all day and just wait for them to come to us. But since the landowner said that they haven't seen any since their big storm last week, I don't know what the answer is, but I think we should at least sit here for an hour before we try to move someplace else. Well, it's been an hour and we're glassing some pretty big country over here. And we haven't seen anything. So we're gonna change spots, not that they couldn't be here, but there's not even tracks in the fresh snow or anything that we can see. So we're gonna pack up and head back to the truck. Well, we got an abundance of water. Yes. Not an abundance of animals. I go to another spot. <laughs> That's our second spot. Is it really the second spot? Because I felt like we scanned a lot. <laughs> yeah, this might be the, oh, actually probably the third spot. Or fourth. Um, there's another 400 acre spot that we came to. Had to hike in quite a bit to get to it, but. So got some tracks here. They're not antelope tracks though. There are a lot of mule deer tracks and coyote tracks, and cow tracks. So, we thought for a second they might be antelope, but after further consideration, pretty, pretty sure, 95% sure they're muley. Yeah. So we still haven't slept. We drove all night. We got here, met the landowner, and we've been hunting ever, ever since. So yeah, it's noon now. Yeah, so we are going to pack up, head an hour north and get checked into our room kind of get organized a little bit and then check out some public land on the way and then crash. Yeah, we crash maybe and then possibly hunt this evening. So anyway, day one antelope 2021, getting the lay of the land. So learning as we go.